The Proform Tour de France series of bikes and other similar exercise machines use a small motor to position a magnet around the flywheel to create resistance when pedaling. If the motor becomes damaged or wears, it will need to be replaced by following the instructions in this video. Before you begin, be sure the bike is unplugged. Use a thin wrench to unscrew the pedal axle from the crank arm. Note, the left pedal is reverse threaded and loosens by turning the left pedal axle to the right. Use a flathead screwdriver to loosen and then remove the upper shield. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the four screws from the electronics cover. Then, remove the electronics cover. Use your flathead screwdriver to pry off the shield covers from the rear of the side shields. Then use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove the side shield screw under the cover. Also remove the shield cover and screw from the opposite side of the machine. The right side shield must be removed first. To remove the right side shield, remove the lower rear side shield screw from the left side of the bike. Then remove the two upper side shield screws from the right side of the bike. Position the right crank arm upward and carefully remove the right side shield from the bike. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the two screws from the magnet cover. Remove the magnet cover from the magnet bracket. It may be necessary to separate the two halves to lift it from the bracket. Disconnect the resistance motor from the lower wire extension. To disconnect the wires, press the tab on the large connector and pull the wires apart. Next, remove the screw that holds the resistance link arm to the motor with a small Phillips head screwdriver. Once the screw is removed, the outer disc and link arm will come off of the motor. Be sure the link arm does not rotate to maintain the proper resistance levels. Now, use your Phillips head screwdriver to remove the four motor mounting screws and remove the old motor from the frame. Install the new motor by placing the replacement motor onto the frame and securing it with four screws. Reconnect the resistance link arm to the motor into the mounting hole closest to the disc registration pin. Then, mount the disc and secure it using the small screw. Reconnect the motor wire to the lower wire. The connection should snap easily into place. If not, check the orientation of the connections, look for any bent pins in the connectors, and straighten any bent pins, then try again. Replace the magnet bracket cover, then secure the bracket with two screws. Replace the left shield first, and then the right shield. Make sure to replace all the shield screws and replace the rear shield covers on each side of the bike. Replace the electronic shield and secure it to the side shields with four Phillips head screws. Replace the upper shield cover by pressing it down into place. Use a thin wrench to tighten the pedals onto the crank arms. The left pedal is tightened by turning the axle to the left. Once everything is in place, pedal your bike slowly to make sure everything is working properly.